What's going on everyone? So here's part two of the redesigning the app challenge and the app I'm going to show you is PF Chang. So if you haven't seen my first video discussing on the start of this, then just go back or go to the description somewhere down below. You can click on that and watch the first video, but this is going to be showcasing you one, what the actual app PF Chang looks like originally. So in case you have never seen the application before, you can kind of get a feel of what the current app looks like today on the market. And I'm gonna show you my actual prototype redesign that I created adding additional features from using user review. So here I am on Figma and uh, let me zoom in really quick. So I obviously I'm not on my phone, so I had to take screenshots of the application and I have the iPhone screenshots right here. And essentially, if you were to download this for the first time, this is what you'd be seeing. So if you do have an account or have used the app before, you might have a different experience, but this is just general from part one. And then I'll show you after this, my uh, new version and aka okay, my design, that way you can see the difference and design and what I did to uh, make it a little better in my opinion. But uh, let's start off here is screen number one. So once you download the application, you'll be led to this right here. They just have a typical picture of food with the title of the um, restaurant and then they have the buttons down here. So essentially order now, sign in and then create an account. So ideally I um, didn't go in with the sign in stuff so I just click order now. And once you click order now, this will lead you to the screen over here which is screen number two. And on my phone, it looked kind of odd, just the like spacing and just like why, I don't know why they did it but this is essentially what they have for the um, screen two. And it's gonna ask you for pickup or delivery. And they got the logos here. And then once you click, I just clicked on um, pick up. Delivery might have a different flow, but this is the flow, like one flow that you'd go through. And uh, third screen would show you a GPS map. So I use Scottsdale, Arizona for the G, uh, GPS location. And out of the ones that were available, I believe, um, I'm not sure if this one was, but regardless, whatever, PF chain shows up, it'll show up here and then you just simply click it. And then once you click on this screen, you'll be led to this uh, section right here. So this is telling you to select the date and time and when you'd like your order. So assuming you want it right now, you click ASAP or if you did want to order this in a future time frame, so a couple hours from now or ideally a couple of days, if not weeks. I don't know why you order it from the app when you could just call in, but um, ideally if you wanted to order it like in a future time, then you can select the dates here and then timing and you click this. And once you hit next, you'll finally be led to the actual menu screen showcasing where you can order the food. So here they have the restaurant showcasing the location you chose. So if you didn't want to uh, delete this or look at details, then you'd have to obviously go back. But ideally, so you have these options here, then down here is like a, it's like a chicken entree. So I clicked that one for the screenshot example. And it led me to this page right here. So you can see they have like dotted lines uh, separating the uh, menu items. And then you can see like just how it looks right there. And then once you click on something, so I click on this first one right here, it showcases the picture, description, calories, price. And then these are like the choices you can pick with it. So if you wanted like you know, what type of size rice you want, and then if you didn't want anything extras, and then obviously I'd have to scroll down, but since it's a screenshot, you can't really see. And then you can either add it to cart or you can add it to checkout. So let me backspace out and let's go back to the next screen. So once you click add to checkout is what I clicked on. It'll bring you down here and it's gonna ask you for your payment type. So obviously since it's like a hypothetical example, I just put cash and then it leads me to the next page where tells you the store location, the type. So I put pickup, uh, when do you want it, like ASAP. And then they have these options here for a coupon. And then if you did want to um, get points or rewards, you would just join in here. It says your menu item right there. If I want to delete it, I can. And then if I want to add more items. And then a total and then check out. It has all these dotted lines on here. And uh, personally me, there's like a lot of stuff that's just like overwhelming on this screen. And I'm not too sure the reasoning behind their dot dash lines, but um, You'll see in my redesign what way I did it and how I think it looks a little cleaner. And then once you hit checkout, it's going to ask, or it, it will unless you skip this or might not even show this, but it suggests additional, essentially like upsells on this page, which is only showing two. And I don't even know like what this means, but I'm um, assuming it's just chocolate. And then you can go finally review your order, showcasing the address, you know, the tip order type win price i think i ordered this like a in, in the future so that way it's a little different 
and then you hit place order. So once you place the order, it will say order confirmation, number, all this uh, fun stuff right here. And then eventually you can scroll down and then you can cancel the order or hours, etc. And that's essentially the flow for the current application. So that's that's like the current app. If you were to download this right now on the App Store, this is what you ideally would be seeing, assuming you're in the States and that time you downloaded, they didn't update anything. So that, now that you see a like visual of what it looks like, let me show you my prototype of my redesign with the functions. And also if I, um, I might, depending on how long this video is, I'm not too sure, I might do like a side-by-side -side comparison with the photos because that's how I did my redesign too. But for now, let me just show you the prototype first and then we can um, do that in a, either future videos or maybe later at the end of this one. So check it out. Here is my prototype, my new redesign of PF Chang's application. So right off the bat, I like the style where I took out the um, buttons. I added more of a uh, menu looking style table background because in the original one, it's just like this picture, I think it's like, I'm assuming that's like beef and vegetables. And depending if you don't like beef, you're probably not gonna like that pick. Or I don't think that this represents P of Chang's like as a restaurant. Like my first time I seen this, I'd be like, what is, what is this restaurant, right? But here you can see more of a uh, story behind it. And then just trying to be sure, this is just like a random pick I found off Google. But the white background, things looks pretty clean. And it just showcases a variety of choices. That way it's more like a restaurant feel. And then I removed the uh, the third button and I just changed it into a, already have a account login. A lot of applications use that. That's why I put that there. And I think it looks personally a lot cleaner. And then if you wanna sign up for an account, you can, or you click order now. And then I added a feature down below with the icons because uh, I just don't see why. I looked at a lot of the top rated fast food app store um, apps and all almost all of them I looked at had icons. People change for some reason when I go back, they don't. I'm not sure, for, sure why, but I think it just makes it a lot easier. And then essentially, here's the flow I'll go through really quickly. Click order now, and then boom, you will choose your order type. So you can see on the, um, this is page two. This is the page I originally had. Add a little more flair to it with the uh, dishes, and then I just made it bigger. And I did make these from scratch too. So uh, like these logo icons, I basically pen tooled over there. That's why I can recreate it. Pretty simple, but I'll, make, make, I'll probably make another video in the future if you guys want me to show you. Essentially, I click pick up and then I copied the um, GPS style for this. I didn't, there's not too much I could change as far as my design. I figured, you know, it's, it's just GPS location. So you click on this and we go back to the uh, original. So originally this is what they had here with these dotted, dotted lines. I just did not like the way that looked. So. Uh, Essentially, you choose an option, so I'm gonna go with ASAP, and then I highlight, it covers it, and it's clearly showing that it's chosen. Then once you hit next, similar uh, menu style here, I just changed the, uh, if you go here, from gray to like white background, I think it just looks better, and then I added some shadow, and then you click on the food item, boom, and now you're led to the actual food item here. So if you go back to the um, original, this is what you originally would see on the application, with these dashed lines, change it to more so, um, something like this, and then you click on the food item, and now you can see there's a lot different looking than the um, original design here with like these boxes and whatnot. And let me show you my reasoning behind this. So the original uh, design, if you were to choose the same option I did, there wouldn't be showcasing any like allergies until you scroll down to like the bottom. And I figured a lot of people, if they're going through this really quickly, and they have an allergy, they might not notice it. So I put it straight up here that it contains peanuts. And then if you want to scroll down, which I, you can see, I can scroll down here. You can see the allergy section here where you can clearly see it's right before you click the button. In that case that um, people might not um, notice because on the original app, you have to like click through it and then you have to check it again, a little more complicated. But basically you click here and it's like a little table button and then you just click again and then boom, you have these selected. And then let's go ahead and click on add and check out. So once you hit add and check out, this will be the screen showcasing the order that you just picked, the price, the store location, the type you got, and then when. And then here you have the coupon option here, so you can add it right there. And then additionally, I added, this is similar, uh, I took this from Taco Bell style. They have like a an add, upsell add-on style design here. I just added basically pictures, pricing, calories that you could potentially add on with visuals here right on the checkout. So that in case they wanted this, they can boom, click it, and then they go to checkout. And then if you go to the uh, original app, you can see 
you can't actually you can't see it. I don't have the screenshot for it, but ideally you would have seen a different um, display. And I want you to check out. Boom is gonna ask you for your payment type. So this is already the first uh, change I did. So if we go back to my uh, redesign, certain payments you couldn't use. So gift cards and certain like Apple Pay, whatnot. Was people were complaining the reviews. So originally they had just what three like this, and instead I added the gift card option, and then I added Apple Pay here. So that's just two right away from the design. Then I actually draw uh, these right here too. I made these from scratch. I just traced over an icon, but these are basically my own shapes I made over here, even the Apple logo. And so basically click on gift card payment. It's gonna ask you to input the code or if you wanna scan this, super simple right here. Click continue. And then now we're here on the review order section. So if we go to this section over here, it's ideally, this is what they had originally. And then with the upsells, and then basically review order section here you can see mine's a little different has no dashes it's more cleaner and then basically you want to add a tip here click add tip payment method gift card place the order boom your order has been confirmed thank you for ordering your order will be ready soon with a little logo and then uh order summary similar style again and then with the total amount paid and now here is the uh new feature i added in design which is the tracking the order so no order tracking live. People were saying that in the reviews, like no order tracking, no order tracking here, no tracking info. And uh, basically there's nothing, once you click it's just, th like this is all you get on the actual current app right now. So I added this tracking option at the bottom right here. So basically you click track order and boom, tells you that they have re just received the order. And then as it goes through the flow, obviously this would update and it's super simple, nothing too crazy as far as design. I know Domino's has a much better looking and different design for their tracking software, and I'm sure other apps have a different way, but it's just something simple and easy right here. And this fulfills essentially the lack of the tracking and then also the lack of the payment options, give or take a couple of redesigns too. And then if you did have to make any changes, then this is where you go, click on cancel order. Ideally, this would be before the order starts being prepared and or you could just call the store and basically that's the setup there and then go back home location tab here you can go through the flow one more time again same same stuff click through it you know choose options add a checkout boom gift card continue place order check order and then also home and then orders down here ideally so currently we just ordered that one so it's showing casing what order we just have and then it has like the dates, the um, total, location, et cetera, all that fun stuff here. Settings, I haven't updated the settings yet, but ideally, I mean, it's a settings page. But yeah, overall, this is my uh, current prototype for you know, new redesign for PF Chain's application. And you guys seen the previous one that's currently live right now on the market. And then here's my little design I made for it. A little redesign on uh, my idea here. And then also, I'm gonna make a more like user flow stuff because I have like wireframes down here below too. So if you guys want to follow along, I'll probably make a another video because I think this video is probably too long right now. But uh, ideally, I'll make it into more of like a better looking presentation and just better stuff there. So uh, if you want to follow along that, go down below, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. Let me know any other applications or websites out there that have reviews or data I can look at and make additional designs or features. And also any feedback suggestions on this, definitely let me know. But aside from that, I will see you in the next video. Peace.